In this video, we're taking out the Avatar 11, equipped with Huawei Hi-Car Level 3 autonomous driving capability. That means it should be able to drive by itself on the highway and on the city streets. We're going to test it out. We're also going to test out the autonomous parking function. Let's see how it does. Now, in order for this to work, first you have to set up a location in the system. So I've set up a location that takes us from an ordinary road, which is where we are now, onto the highway and off the highway and off at the other end. So I'm going to try and show you all those things. I will have to trim it down, of course, because, you know, this is going to be a really long video otherwise, but we should take about 16 minutes to get there. And one thing to check in here as well on our autonomous driving system is that we've got it to do automatic overtakes. That means no work from me. As is customary, I do have to have my hands on the wheel. I'll take them off when I can just to show you what's going on. And also, I will, you can see my pedals down there. You'll see when I'm touching the pedals and when I'm not. Okay, so let's get started with this. First, I need to do a U turn, which I believe I need to do myself. And first of all, I need to press the card onto here to activate that we're ready to go. Let's put my phone on here and I'll just wait till the traffic goes past and we'll get started. There we go, All right, U turn. As you can see, that's a fairly big turning circle. Right, now in order to get it started, you pull down on this handle on the right side and we've got the arrow on the dashboard and that means we're off, okay? So we've now got a blue line on the screen and the car is turning by itself, okay? So it's doing all this by itself. My hands are nowhere near the wheel. And a nice little obstacle to check out in front of us. We need to change lane. It's doing that by itself as well because there's a truck in front with some workers. I'm just going to put my foot over the brake just in case I need to stop here. These guys are not prepared. It's going to squeeze through them. Successful. A little bit jilty, but that's all right. I'm going to turn right at the junction ahead. Okay, put my hand on the wheel because it's told me to. So again, let's put this hand over here so it's always in view and out of the way. We've got a green light now. Now we've got to navigate a pretty bumpy junction. But there you go, turning entirely by itself. That's pretty decent. Now, of course, this isn't too challenging. That, those blokes in the road earlier, they were a bit challenging. This isn't too challenging in itself because there are not many other cars around. We're only doing 35 down here because it's a 30 speed limit. We've got a Neo ES8 right up our backside. He wants to go faster than this. I'm gonna speed us up a little bit by rolling the speed on the wheel. We wanna try and stick in our lane here. So we're gonna try and avoid these guys who are coming into our lane. And we're successfully doing that so far. Now we're slowing down because we can see a Lincoln Co driving in our lane. It's a little bit bumpy. Ooh. <laughs> And it's got a warning sign there. I can't tell what it says. But now it's going to slow us down for the traffic lights as well. And that's good. It handled all of that. I've got to put my hand on the steering wheel again to show it that I'm alive. Let me just roll that speed down a little bit. I put it up to 60 by accident, showing you that these are a little bit fiddly. I'll put it on 50, even though actually the speed limit is 30, but clearly this guy behind me is a bit impatient. We've got eight seconds to go. My feet are off the pedals. And we should get started in a moment. Cool thing is we've got vehicle to grid, so we can also see, uh, we can see the traffic light counting down and it's probably communicating with it as well, so it knows what's happening. And you can see the road that we're on here actually doesn't have particularly great lines. There's a very faint white line on this side, very faint dashed yellow line in the middle, but we're doing okay so far doing okay the neo behind us is happy with our speed as well we've got a scooter pulling in front there it is on the screen handles that no problem once he's out the way car is off and running again <laughs> this is so impressive i have to touch the steering wheel again and at the end we're going to turn left and i believe then we're going to get on the highway although weirdly we're indicating right not sure why that is Now at this point we're all over the place because there are no lines anywhere and the car isn't certain but it's straightened things out let's go back where we want to be this is a horrible bit of road got seven seconds through the traffic lights so we're going to go for it 
Yes. We're going for it. NCA is back on again. Apparently it had gone off. Right, I'm going to avoid that scooter there. There we go. It's doing all that by itself. There's the highway up ahead of us. Are we ready to go? It's going to change lane. There you go. It's done that successfully. <laughs> this is incredible. And now it's going up onto the highway all by itself. It's giving me a warning symbol just to remind me to be careful as we enter the highway. Let's see how well it transitions at the top of the hill. Put my hand on the wheel again because it wants some connection. And actually here we're going to trans transition from this highway onto another one. So we've got a really good test actually here of the system. Now do we actually lose this lane or do we stay in it? Let's see. I think this lane continues to exist until the transition. So we'll probably stay. So visualizing the other cars around us now. I suspect we'll stay in this lane. For some reason it thinks that it's 60 on here. So the one thing it's not so good at is reading the speed signs. I'll just drag that up to 80. There we go. And again, I'll just keep my hands off as much as possible. Be ready to step in when necessary. I don't know if this car needs some kind of license to do this, but it can successfully do it. So we're now 186 meters away from the junction. We've started to indicate by ourselves. Now we're turning right. I'm going to use the right hand lane. Successful, that's good. Still indicating right because we're going to turn right here. We're in the right lane already, that's okay. Audi's going to pull in front a little bit, but we've navigated that, no problem at all. <laughs> this is incredible. And this works at night as well. This even worked last night, no problem. I say no problem, there were some slight issues, but mostly down to other drivers who were behaving a bit more aggressively. And here we're going to go into 100 kilometers per hour. And at some point, it should read this, I need to touch the steering wheel. There we go, it's happy with that now. Now we're onto a 100 kilometers per hour highway. It's decided we're having this lane next to us, behind this van. Now it's going for the next lane, it's decided we're clear there as well, and we are, which is great. And now it's going again. One thing that I like about this system is it has a very brief window opportunity sometimes to move into the next lane and it takes it which is great and there you go we're sliding over again that's I think four lane changes now in the last 30 seconds which is great and I've found that on a four lane highway it tends to like being in lane three this is where it's most comfortable now it's recognizing the signs for 80 kilometers per hour actually in this lane we're allowed to do 100 but we'll just stick at 80 for now because this is fine it wants to go back into this lane there we go, and it's doing so all by itself. I mean, this is, it's so, obviously in reality, I have to keep my hand on the wheel. My hands are ready, just in case. In reality, I have to keep focused because legally we're not allowed to do anything other than drive the car and be responsible for the car. But to show what it's capable of with that three LiDAR system with 300 degrees of range of view, Plus, of course, the camera on the back and the other sensors. It's really good. It's absolutely excellent. It's done city highway. It's gone onto the highway itself. Sorry, it's done city roads. It's gone to the highway itself. Let's touch the steering wheel again. And in 1.3 kilometers, you'll see us pull off the highway and we'll see how it navigates that. We're going to have a big loopy road to go around, I believe. And now we've got some traffic sort of slowing down there. Still one kilometer away. It's going to go around the loop, then off the highway, and then to our final destination. I'll make this a separate video so that you can check it out on its own as well. But this is really, really impressive at the moment. And the truck's changing lane. The car's reading that. You can also read the indicators flashing on there. It wants to go in this lane now, but it realizes that it can't because we have a truck there. So it's going to speed up and try and find a different option. Need to touch the steering wheel again. Might try and go for this gap here, I think. Nope. Yes. No. I think after this car, it's going to pull in. Is it going to go for it? 
Alfred behind us is getting annoyed. He can wait. Okay, the car has decided it's changing. There we go. The car's driving itself, mate. Nothing to do with me. Put my hands on the wheel again. So it did find a space eventually. It was a little bit cautious on that one. And now it's going to navigate us onto another highway and then off it. So that'll be two highway navigations and on and off as well if it can succeed. So far, we haven't intervened at all, which is pretty impressive. It's got a bit of traffic going on here as well, which is why we're a bit slower. But it's handling all this with no issues at all. Let's touch the steering wheel again. Don't know if it has haptic touch in here or anything like that, but let's get ready for this. Here we go. Now we're going to turn off, as is the truck in front of us. And we're going to want the left hand of these two lanes, so I'm curious to see if it takes it. It is taking it, yeah. The truck behind us making a late dive off the highway. Getting annoyed at people. It's quite aggressive and ignorant driving that. As you can see, it's actually, well, I don't know if you can see it, but the indicator on the vehicle in front is also being noticed. So shake the steering wheel again to show that I'm here. I mean, we've got someone going incredibly slow in this lane. For some reason, I don't know why. Anyway, car is far more patient than I am. Right. At this point, it's turned off NCA, and I don't know if that's putting NCA back on or back off again. This that little blue van, little blue truck in front of us, is the speed problem at the moment. I have to touch the steering wheel again as well. 580 meters, I think it will turn it off, but I'm not certain. At that point, it will turn it on to intelligent cruise assist, which is essentially the same thing, but with, I think, less focus on the LIDAR and more on the mapping. I'm not sure. Anyway, this van is going very slow. In 400 meters, it's telling me I will have to take control of the steering again. I'm not sure how long for. Let's see, 310 meters. Let's see what happens if I don't touch the steering wheel. This truck is going crazy slow. Hundred and thirty meters countdown. How are we doing? At this point it could have changed lanes. Alright, okay, now it's so it's gone off at that point because I had to put my foot on it because we were stopping completely. If I tap it on again though, it's back on again. At this point, I wonder if it will change lanes because we need to turn left over there. Does it need me to activate it? I have activated it. It's made the lane change, that's good. Not pressing any pedals down here. Ooh, it's uh, just navigating this awkward bit of road. If it can do this, this is already pretty impressive. And again, I need to go left here, so I do need to do a couple of lane changes, which may require manual intervention. We've got a notification for intelligent cruise assist on the scene, on the screen, telling us that we're going to have to turn left. But look at that, it's gone round those cones. No problem at all. But again, I don't know how we're going to get left from this point on. How's it going to handle this? How many drivers are we going to annoy around us? Thankfully, we'll find out soon because we've only got four, three, two, one seconds up ahead. Sadly, there are no other options for left turn lanes down here. So let's see, the lights have gone green. Going to start to move. Will we get a chance to get over to the left hand lane? I don't think we are at this point because it's pretty late in the day. It's not going to happen. So I wonder if it can't do it, will it just redirect me and continue? I mean, the road has gone a bit weird here anyway, so I'm quite curious how this is going to filter out. We're going to go for the straight ahead version rather than over there, getting interrupted by this Chevrolet. And at this point, we've just, what was the truck also trying to dive in here as well? 
on the right side. Be aware of your surroundings. I'll touch the steering wheel because it wants me to. All right, now our route has changed. And the car is keeping us going at this moment in time. <laughs> Which is pretty good. Pretty good. Staying between the lanes and avoiding the truck at the same time. Need to do a U-turn. Which means we need to presumably get in the left-hand lane. Is it going to do that for us? I think it needs me to do that for us. I'm going to indicate left. And is it going to take the chance? Mm, it can't take the chance yet. So, yeah, you can see it hasn't quite successfully made it to our destination. Because at this rate, we're going to have to just keep going. We're going to be going straight on again. So... You know, we kind of have messed up in that way. Part of that is down to the roads, because they were an absolute, well, a total mess back there, as they so often are in China. But a pretty decent showing from the Huawei high car. Excellent. All right, I'll take over from now. Let's carry on. In fact, next up, let's go and try out some parking. Okay, here we are on the rooftop of this car park. If I spin the camera around, you'll see we have no other cars here. Just so we can test out this Huawei parking with the Avatar over here. So I'm going to send you up, get in the car, and let's check it out. Okay, as you can see, we're now in the car. So what I'm gonna do is reverse backwards, pull into this section over here. Okay, and I'm gonna pick, let's go for this space over here. Start the sequence, hands and feet off. Cool thing is I can watch this on the drone here. You can see that? <laughs> Let's check out how well the parking goes. The space I've chosen is slightly shorter. They've put the blocks slightly further forward. Which means we're going to be sticking out the front a little bit. Well, there we go. There's our parking. Let's bring the camera down. Not bad, that is it. 